Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, there it is. Don't touch me. I want to say hi. Hey, go away. I don't want to say hi to you. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to this week's reading vlog. I had a terrible day at work today, so we're not even going to talk about that. But figured I would update you guys for what I'm starting this week. I am still like 180 pages into Abomination by Gary Whitta and this is the book that I started last week and it's the one that I like titled the last vlog about how this book is messed up and it is still messed up but still so so good. I'm not gonna give a synopsis on what it is because I talk about it in the other vlog so if you want to know what it's about go to the other vlog and watch that but still fucking with my head. And then I'm also reading The Winner's Crime by Mary Witowski and this is the second book in the Winner's Curse trilogy. I'm like 200 pages into it. I really liked the first book which I gave a 4 out of 5 stars and I'm really liking this. I'm thinking that I might actually be liking this one better. It's a lot more action-y than the first one was. I think that the first one was a lot more like building the scene of everything so. Tonight I'm supposed to go see Ricardo later but I don't know if that's actually going to happen or not because he has to have a family dinner or something. So as of right now, I'm just going to read some more. Maybe I'll film a video. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do. Hey, okay, hi, I'm back. So update for tonight. I didn't go to Ricardo's because he had to stay in for a family night kind of thing. So I've been reading Abomination by Gary Whitta, which I said earlier, and I only read like 10 pages. So I'm on like page 190 or something now, but the craziest shit just happened in it. So like, I'm going to spoil it for you guys. If you want to read this book, then don't listen until I put the book down but the main character just got his head completely cut off and he's like twitching on the floor being dead he has this ability where he heals really quickly so i'm not even halfway through the book and the main character is dead i'm thinking that he's not actually dead and it's going to be the same thing about when he got stabbed in the stomach and it took like an hour to heal his head is going to magically like go back on his head because there's no way that i'm not even halfway through this book and the main character's dead it's not a thing i'm quite intrigued to see if I'm right. He may be dead, but like, I doubt it. Hi! It's now Tuesday around 7 o'clock. I've been home from work for like an hour. I haven't done like any reading yet except for like a chapter of Abomination by Gara Witta. Still crazy. It's just getting crazier and crazier. We're now selling people into sex slavery. The main character is still not back but I swear to god he's somehow gonna connect his head back to his body. It's gonna happen. I'm calling it now. I'm gonna read more of this once I'm done cleaning my room and also I need to bring everything I bought from the thrift store downstairs so I can put it through the laundry so I'll probably listen to more of the winner's crime while I'm doing that but I got a package which I can't show you my you know address but it is from Penguin Random House and I already opened it but books are Five Worlds the Sand Warrior and Five Worlds the Cobalt Prince it says on the sheet that it came with that it's like for fans of The Last Airbender so I've personally never watched that they look like they're gonna be a pretty easy read. What are you talking about? Which book is that? Still neither of them on your reading list. Okay, I just opened it. I didn't I... say I'm reading them right now. I've already talked about the one that I'm reading right now. Have you? Yes, and that's on your list. So quit your blabbing, lady. It's about these five worlds that are on the brink of extinction and these three like unlikely characters pair up together in order to light these beacons that are going to save the world. It's a middle grade graphic novel. I didn't ask for them, but it's kind of cool to have things just sent to you randomly. So thank you to Penguin Random House for these graphic novels. I'll probably read them sometime this week because they're going to be super quick and easy. So probably going to read those after I finish Abomination because it's a lot! I would just like to say that I was correct. The main character is back. His head is back on his body. Like I said, it was gonna happen, so clearly I'm just really good at calling plot. I'm actually gonna go shower and then have my mom braid my hair yet again. Probably read some more, so I'll update you guys tomorrow because 
I don't want to do it anymore and it's getting dark so the lighting is going to go gross and we're not dealing with that. It's a Wednesday now. It's around 6.30. I just had dinner. We had quesadillas. They were delicious. And now I'm pretty much just going to read until Ricardo gets here around 8. I, I guess I'll update you guys on what I read last night. So I'm now on page 300 of The Winner's Crime. That means I have like 100 pages left. I think it has like 404 pages or something like that. Definitely liking this more than The Winner's Curse. I think that this is a lot more action-packed, like I said recently. And things are finally starting to happen. There's a lot of like feuds and behind the back stabby stabby things, which your girl is into. So I'm liking it. 100 pages left. Hopefully gonna finish this before Ricardo gets here. Maybe we'll see. Probably not though because I get distracted very easily. And then Abomination, I didn't read anything since my last update so I don't have an update on that book yet. I'm also reading a book on my phone which I haven't talked about which is A Blade So Black by L.J. McKinney or something like that honestly. I don't remember what the author's name is but I'll put up a little picture here. It's an e-arc and it's supposed to be like a Alice in Wonderland retelling where she like fights demons in Wonderland. And honestly, I was super excited about it, but I've been reading this since June. It's not very good. And like, I was super hyped for it because like Alice in Wonderland retelling, yes please, and it's like a diverse cast, but like, I just, I can't get into it. I think it's being released in September so you guys can check it out. We're gonna push through, we're gonna finish it. I think I have like 75 pages left of it so the only time I'm reading it is when my mom's braiding my hair because I need something to do while she's doing that because she has to concentrate so I don't know. Hopefully it'll get better? Say hi. It's not saying hi. He's not entertaining. I don't know how to entertain. <laughs> Stop it. It's Thursday at 6. I had the worst day at work today, so we ain't even gonna go in that because I'm gonna just get real heated again and I'm now calmed down from my anger. But I'm uploading Fetus J Friday right now, which I just realized like a lot of you don't even know what Fetus J Friday is because you're always asking me why I look so much younger in those videos and like why I still do the speed up chipmunk voice which I stopped doing in my more recent videos but basically Fetus J Friday is from when I was in first and second year university. I played varsity basketball so I never was home on the weekend so every time I would come home I would film like a shit ton of videos so that I would have videos that I could upload during the weeks that I was at university because I lived in Toronto during that time. I had like hundreds and hundreds of videos that I had pre-filmed. And then one day my lovely laptop broke and I lost all these videos. And then I figured out how to get access to those videos off of my old laptop even though it was broken. Now basically Fetus J Friday is I take the old videos that I got off of the hard drive of the old laptop and I upload them every Friday and they're from like two to three years ago so I'm like really little. They're like videos from the very far past from when I was a little fetus aka fetus J. But yeah, so now you guys all know. You can stop asking me what it is. They're just pre-filmed videos from a really long time ago. I figured why not make it every Friday's video even though... I always lose like 50 million subscribers when I upload them, but I'm like, I filmed those and I edited those, so they're going up on the channel. I don't care, and it also means I don't have to film three actual videos, just two a week, so easier for me. And I mean, some of them are kind of entertaining, and I'm so whittled, it's, it's funny, okay? I think they're funny. I guess I should also give you guys like a reading update for what I did last night. Ricardo came over, you guys saw like a little tiny clip of him, but I'm like 330-ish pages into The Winner's Crime, so the plan is to finish this tonight because I'm supposed to see Ricardo later on, but he's out with his work people having dinner or something, so that's not going to be for a while and then abomination i'm like 200 and 230 pages in i read a chapter last night and i was done because i just couldn't handle it basically what happened was the main girl character discovered that the main guy character's head is back on his body and was basically like what the fuck is happening and that was my reaction too because i called that shit 
I'm just saying, but I need to know how it ends because I'm actually like just, I don't know where this is going. It's so confusing, but still really good. Like I've said a million times, like it's not a bad book. I just can't handle it. It's like an emotional roller coaster and I don't know how to feel half the time I'm reading it. So it's taking me a really long time because usually I would have been done this book by now because I usually read like two to three to four books a week, but I'm I've been on this book for almost two weeks now, so maybe we'll get it done this week. Maybe we won't. We're getting your birdie Again. <laughs> what are yours? Mine is chocolate macaroon, chocolate coconut macaroon, coconut maraschino cherries, and chocolate sauce. It's Friday! Oh my god, I don't think you guys understand how happy I am that this week of work is over. It was the worst week possible. None of the kids listened. They were all devil children this week. Like I could not with them. But cute story. One of my kids' moms came in and gave him a gift certificate to Tim Hortons and was like, okay, give this to your favorite counselor. And like without hesitation, he just like ran right up to me and like gave it to me and I was like, <laughs> Little BB, I appreciate you. You're so cute. He was one of the good kids, so I was just like, thank you. I just filmed a video, a haul video, because I bought five more books because I was really mad at the world last night, so I needed retail therapy. So after my mom and I got yogurties, I was like, chapters is right there, let's go. So I ended up buying more books, obviously, but you guys will see that. I finished The Winner's Crime last night, probably gonna give it a four stars. I have to write my review for it, so we'll see. But I definitely liked it more than The Winner's Curse, but I don't think that it's a five out of five stars or a 4.5 out of five stars. Like, it was good, but it wasn't amazing. I'm going to start The Winner's Kiss tonight, probably. The bookmark's just in it, but I haven't actually read any of it yet. And I have to watch to all the boys I've loved before because everybody and their mother is watching it right now and they're like loving it so hopefully I fall under that spectrum. Review, how did you like it? It's a little fluffy. Yeah, it was adorable. Okay. What else do you think? Does that sum up your life? No, my love story is he farts on me every day and brings me food. I liked <laughs> it, mom hated no, it. hate it. it, it was fluffy. And she goes, wow, I'm really glad you let me watch that movie with you. Have a little mother-daughter date, but all right. <laughs> I thought it was cute, so. It was, it was cute. An hour and a half, I can't get back. I never said that. That's what you're thinking. That's not what I said, though. But First time we've been in the car for this vlog. Say hello. hello. Look at my shirt and how amazing it is. Do you see the corgis? We just had the Broadway cafe and I had the sandwich that's bigger than my head, but I forgot to film it because I got too excited and ate it, so. We are doing what? I don't know. Yeah, we're, we don't know what to do. We've uh, decided we're going buck shopping. We're so on brand for this channel. I wish I knew what that meant. You're so old. Get hip with the youngins like me. Okay. Catch you later. What does he look like? Oh shit. Okay, so I'm reading Abomination right now and I'm like 30 pages left of it and something ginormous just happened. I'm gonna hold the book up. If you're actually ever gonna read this, then don't listen to me, but oh my god. Indra, who is the girl main character, warrior princess person thing, is actually Wolfric, who is the Abomination's daughter who he thought he killed in the beginning of the book in this big slaughter that he did he killed like his entire village but nah 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 she alive she she's been with him the whole time and they had no idea and oh my god i cannot with this book i have to go finish this now because like now i'm just mind blown because i was not expecting that twist let's just zoom in on this. is that comfy it's like kissing the floor <laughs> sure looks comfy <laughs> what is it doing? Be careful. You like stab me? These ones are not nice. You're creepy. Put some on like the ground in front, but like. Let's take you those. Wow. He's like the spider of the. Will you eat from that hand? Or are you gonna eat me? Simba. <laughs> Actually, they have names somewhere. They have names? It's not Simba? No, it's not Simba. <laughs> Cardo, come here. <laughs> you ate it. You took it from me. What? 
What can I do? You took that from me. Can't even see her. She's hiding. I want her. Get me a lion. Okay. Her name is Solitaire. You're a lion. I want her so bad. But you basically are a lion. I am a lion. They actually get so close. Just like chilling. Hello. Who said hello? Hello, Riff. Somebody said hello. It wasn't that, it was the other bird. I think the it was Zena. No, the other bird. Ripley, you're supposed to talk. Hello. Oh, he's following you, Ricardo. Following me? He likes you. Hello. <gasps> hello. hello. I didn't do it right. Yeah, you didn't film from the side. Okay. What do you mean? It's good to kill. What do you mean? You filmed it upright, vertical. Ow, he bit me. Baby, baby. Little baby, right there. Smile. <laughs> it like tickles though. No, no, it does. <laughs> oh, you're little. You get more. No, stop being mean. <laughs> no, I want the baby. The baby. Yes, there you go. Okay. You're not the baby. I like how they like fight each other for it. They like headbutt each other. <laughs> oh yeah, really? Just because you're the tallest? He's me. He's me. <laughs> He's a hog. Yeah, but he's like, I'm the tallest. The... What is that? Is that the emu? Lemurs. The lemurs? That's the lemurs. I mean, I like you. Come here, baby. <laughs> no, I want the baby. The biggest one's the hog. I like the hog. Baby. Oh, you so baby. No, you get none. You're a greedy little bugger. Oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> oh, stop fighting. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> it like tickles. Yeah. He sounds like he's like burping. Yeah. Bah. Yeah. Bah. 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 I am the God Whisperer. <laughs> I don't have any more. I have peanut all over me. Bongo. <laughs> He's like the teenager who doesn't want to clean his room. Hey. Hello. I'm ending the vlog now. As you saw, I was at the zoo all day today with Ricardo and now it's like 6.30 so I need to go edit this so it can be up for Monday. So, thank you for joining me for this reading vlog. I'll see you guys next week's reading vlog. Goodbye.